Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 219. Please turn to it. Page 219, problem number 5. Problem number 5. Page 219 is the exact same problem that appeared on the same exact page number in the first edition of the GRE that I'm holding in mind here, revised GRE book. We have already solved all the problems in this book. I'm just redoing them. If you want to watch the original solution, you will find the original solution to this problem on day number 80. Let's take a look at it. They're asking us for the prime divisors. Prime divisors of 100 prime divisors of 100 and as we already know as we already learned last in the last video divisor is just a very fancy way very academic way very annoying way of saying factors so we are essentially looking for prime factors of 100 so let's do it then, shall we there is your 100 and if we're just going to start dividing it by the lowest prime numbers that we can think of the lowest prime number is 2 so let's divide 100 by 2, we divide 100 by 2, we get a 50, we can divide one more time by 2, so that gives us 25. The next prime number is 3, but obviously we can't divide 25 by 3, so we divide by 5. That's it, which means 100 equals 2 squared times 5 squares. And therefore, the prime, the prime factors or prime dividers of... 100 are 2 and 5. 2 and 5. We do not, if something repeats, we do not count again. Uh, it's just 2 and 5, that's it. In other words, 100 can be divided by only two prime numbers, and those two numbers are 2 and 5. You can divide 100 evenly, 100 can be divided evenly into 2, that's one prime number, and it can be divided evenly into 5. And there is no other prime number that 100 can be divided into evenly. That's all. Let's do the next one. Uh, part B, they are asking for the prime divisors of 144. So the same exact procedure, nothing is going to change. Now we are looking for 144. 144. Exact same procedure. Let's divide 144 by 2, we get 7 and a 2 uh, out of 14 and then 2. We can, this is an even number, we can divide it by 2 one more time. 7 has 3 2's, the remaining one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12 and 12 has 6 2's. We can go one more time, 3 has 1 2, the remaining one goes and joins the 6 becomes 16 and 16 has 8 2's. We can go one more time and that gives us 9, now we can do by 3. And that's it. In other words, 144 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 raised to 4 times 3 squared. And now, therefore, the prime factors or divisors of 144 are 2 and 3. Just like the only two prime numbers that you can divide 100 by is 2 and 5. Similarly, the only two numbers that you can divide 144 evenly, even to only two prime numbers that is, that you could divide 144 into are 2 and 3. There is no, there are, there are no other prime factors of 144. 144 has several factors, but none of them are prime numbers. There are only two prime numbers, 2 and 3. That's it. I'm going to skip right now for, for the time being number 6, let's move on to number 7. And number 7, it, it continues, they're looking for the prime factorization of 585. And now we're going to do numbers. 
number seven. Something that we did on day number 82. That's it, we're done with this part. We now we're looking for prime factorization of 585. Again, the procedure is not going to say it's the exact same thing. What can we divide 585 into? Well, we can't divide it by 2, obviously, it's not an even number. Can we divide it by 3? How can, we, how can we tell if a number is divisible by 3? A number, a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So to a quick check, always if you want to find the prime factors, always uh, make sure that you check the 3 because a lot of the time people miss 3. 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18, there you go, 18, 18 is divisible by 3, therefore 585 is divisible by 3, let's start with 3. How many 3's in a 5? Five? 5 has 1 3. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 8, becomes 28. How many 3's in a 28? 28 has... 8 3's are 24, 24 and then this is 28 so we go 1 more 9, 9, that's 27, that, that's 27 and the remaining one goes and joins the 5 becomes 15 and 15 has 5, 15 has 5 3's. One more time as you can see 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, if this number is divisible by 3 one more time. So let's divide it by 3, 18 has 6 3's. The remaining one goes and joins 5, becomes 15, and 15 has 5, 5 threes. 65 is 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 is not divisible by 3, so it cannot be divided by 3, we have to move on to 5. 6 has 1 5, the remaining one goes and joins the 5, becomes 15, and 15 has 3 fives. That's it, we're done. In other words, 585. We are done because when we add, when we when we get to the prime number at the end, that's the end of the story. 585, in other words, equals 3 squared times 5 times 13. 3 squared times 5 times 13, and therefore the prime factors of 585 are 3, 3, 5, and 13. That's it. It has only three factors. It has only uh, three factors. I want to make sure I'm going to make a note somewhere here be before we close the video here. Where can I where can I write it? Let's put it here. Make sure you watch. Day number 81. Day number 81. There is something in it that you will find helpful, that you, that you might find informative. You might learn something out of it on day number 81. In addition to the fact that I already told you before that you should watch, you should have watched before watching this video. I, I was hoping that you should have watched. I forgot to remind you that you should that you should have watched day 79, which is where we cover the concept of prime numbers and details. If you're interested in looking at all the problems dealing with prime numbers that we have done in this in this book just type in the stack prime put just put down prime numbers and then my name Keshwani then just, just search for it uh, anytime you're looking for any concept just put down the concept along with my name and it will pop right up just put down prime numbers Keshwani and then search for it and you will see all the videos but you have to watch day 79 and day 81 all right we'll come tomorrow and we'll take care of the problem number six which basically deals with recognizing prime numbers and we have to learn a quicker way, a faster way, an efficient way of, uh, of deciding whether a given number is a prime number or not. We'll do it tomorrow.
But in order for us to be able to do that properly, one more time, you have to make sure that you watch day 79 and day 81. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.